Hi, in this video I'll show you the second example of animated concepts in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The animated concept you will learn to create today looks like this. Here we talk about three initiatives that worked. First you see that there is a beautiful target graphic. Then on a click I have the first initiative that worked then the second initiative and then the third initiative. Isn't this beautiful? It's a very interesting effect to create and what you need to observe is when you have this animation coming in you can see the bounce effect. As you can see here this arrow is so realistic because it bounces off and then sticks to the target graphic. So let us see how to create this beautiful graphic from scratch and animate it. The first thing I'm going to do is to create the target graphic. So let us go to insert, go to smart art, and I'm going to manipulate one of the graphics that are available in smart art option. I'm going to go to this option called relationship and go all the way down and pick up this option called as stacked when diagram. So I'm going to click OK. There are four options here. I want five because you need an odd number of these circles for the target graphic. So I'm going to select one of the uh, buttons here and I'm going to hit enter. So now my text pane shows five bullet points and that reflects in five uh, concentric circles here. Then I'm going to click on the bounding box, go to the design tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to convert and say convert to shapes. Now from smart art it has now become a group of shapes. Now I'm going to right click and ungroup the shapes. So now we have five circles available. Then let me go to arrange, align and say align middle and now I have the target graphic ready. Now how is this a target graphic? It is because when you select the outer side and then you uh, fill it with red color, then you do that for white for the next circle and then do the same thing for the red and then white. All I'm doing is the alternate circles I'm filling with uh, red and white color. Now you can see that this is a beautiful target graphic. I'm going to select everything, press Ctrl G to group. Now to give it a 3D perspective, all we need to do is to right click, go to format shape, go to effect options, 3D rotation and choose one of the presets here, which is under perspective and this is called as perspective contrasting left. So this is how it turns out. Then go to Y rotation and click here a couple of times so it is slanted and then go to 3D format and add a little bit of depth here, maybe around 20 points and now we have a beautiful target graphic ready and it is going to stay, stay here and I'm going to close this. So the first part of the graphic is ready which is the target graphic. Now we need to create the arrows and the text associated with it. Now the way I'm going to create the arrow is very very simple. Let us go to auto shapes menu go to rectangles, pick up this one called as the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle. Click on this yellow handle and move it to the center so it is literally uh, in the shape of a tube with a rounded corners. Then let us go to auto shapes menu, pick up this one under block arrows. It is called as chevron and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to have it here which is the head of the arrow and I'm going to hold the control button down and move this to its new location, which is the tail of the arrow. Now this doesn't look so much like the head of the arrow, isn't it? So I'm going to right click, go to edit points and I'm going to click on this particular black point here and I'm going to say delete point. And I'm going to do the same thing for this point as well. Right click and say delete. Now this looks like an arrow. I'm going to select all of them, press control G to group them Go to shape effects, go to preset and go to preset 2. Now that looks like an arrow. Now let us go here and give it a darker color. Now we have the arrow ready. Now we can have it uh, hit this one and I'm going to have a text. I'm going to say your text about the first initiative and I'm going to place this here. Maybe I can increase the size of the font. Now I'm going to select both of them together and I'm going to press Ctrl G. I'm going to show you just one of these uh, arrows coming in because you can always replicate how the other arrows come in because all you need to do is to just copy and paste. So 
how do we animate this it's very simple let us go to the animation tab go to the fly in effect the default direction of the fly in is from bottom so we are going to change this from left so that is how it comes now let us go to animation pane you can see that the duration is 0.5 then click on the small arrow in the in the right side of the animation event and go to effect options and here you will see the option called bounce end add somewhere around uh, 0.27 somewhere in the middle of uh, this particular option here and i'm going to say okay you can see that there is a beautiful bounce effect shown now when i go to slideshow mode you have the target graphic and then you say my first initiative that worked and this beautiful arrow comes and hits the bullseye so that is how you create this beautiful animated concept i highly recommend that you watch this video over and over again pausing at various stages and try and replicate this simple graphic and the animation associated with it it will really make a world of difference to your skills in various uh, aspects of creating slides now i'm going to show you some example templates from our complete trainers bundle all the examples that i'm going to show are all based on the same concept of a dart or an arrow hitting the target now take a look at the way in which you can use advanced custom animation to tell some very powerful visual concepts so let us go to the slideshow mode and see this first one which talks about four points that will help us achieve the target on the first click i have the first dart which talks about the first point that will help us achieve the target then on a click i have this point hitting the target and then immediately i introduce the second point and then that hits the target the third point and the fourth point is not beautiful so this is one of the concepts you can create if you know how to uh, create this target graphic and how to animate your subjects then let us take another example here we talk about one among the four suggestions that hits the target the first one is this which is differentiated in terms of the color so you see that it has got the teal color and the first initiative or the first suggestion fails the second suggestion fails again third one fails again but the fourth one hits and you can see that there is a differentiation in terms of the winning idea here so this is another interesting concept that you can uh, show then i have another uh, variation of this idea which talks about three initiatives that hit the target the first initiative is this second third and the next concept is this one where we talk about two types of preparation for goal achievement this one is a poor way to uh, prepare for achieving the target as you can see here this is definitely not going to hit the target because the tool is not really the right one to hit the target a better one is this one and here we talk about your strategic planning uh, to achieve the target what is the right tool that you require to hit the target now you can uh, animate this as well by showing this this is the weak one and how it hits the target is like this it literally flies away it doesn't hit the target a better one is like this one and what it does is it hits the bullseye now all the examples that i showed you are taken from our complete trainers bundle complete trainers bundle is a collection of 4022 top quality powerpoint templates that are designed to help trainers and course creators to create impressive looking slides in a matter of minutes whether you want to visualize flows components concepts and metaphors cause and effect number slides and infographics models and frameworks timelines and roadmaps you have every slide type imaginable to make good quality training presentations in a matter of minutes you can click on the button here to know more details about our complete trainers bundle i will also leave a link to the product in the description area below this video i hope you liked the animated concept tutorial that i showed you in this video If you did then you will really love our free snackable powerpoint course. Free snackable powerpoint course is an email series with 16 super short emails. Each email teaches you a 30 second powerpoint tip or trick that you can literally pick up, implement and impress your boss, colleagues and audiences. If you are a trainer or a business presenter then it is a course that you must enroll. You can click on the button here to enroll to the free course right away. I'll see you inside the course.